morning training acts. We are 16 minutes into a 25 minute run off the bike. Uh, our attempted Ironman race pace of 440. Trying to speed up the cadence a little bit with some a little bit of tighter arms, but we'll talk about that another day. Today, I want to talk about seemingly like we have always been doing the last couple weeks, this fat adaptation process and the reasons why you might want to consider it, all the benefits that you can potentially get. Apparently, one of which is having to work out more than two hours a day every weekday. felt deadly at a 440 kilometer. I think that's a, a 317 marathon. Let's see. I like that tucked in little elbow. Go to Instagram. I'll show a, a little video clip and explain the theory behind that and what we're trying to do. So what I've got here is a book from Grant Schofield. Now Grant is the Plues, Dan Plues business partner in Endure IQ, and that is their online course website for fat oxidizing training and long distance triathlon training from the Plues. It's his method of approaching long distance triathlon training. And these are six of the best, most compelling benefits that Grant Schofield has indicated in his book, What the Fat. Now, there are a few books, I'll explain that later. But one, you will be mentally sharper. Apparently, when you don't have that blood sugar dip that you get from eating a bunch of carbs, having it spike your blood sugar and then coming down, that's kind of mellowed out and a lot of people say that they're just mentally sharper on average. I don't know if they're like actually mentally sharper or if just on average they're mentally sharper. I'll keep you posted. Reason number two, you won't run out of fuel. As far as our purposes here in triathlon training, that's the big one. You're not going to bonk because if you can oxidize fat, essentially it makes up for a shortfall of carbohydrates that I laid out why we have a shortfall and why we bonk in a video that I did up there. The math of becoming a better fat oxidizer. Reason number three, you will be leaner. That's what we're trying to set a baseline for today. I'll explain that in a bit. Reason number four, you will recover faster. So when you burn carbohydrates, it's dirty fuel. It's like coal. A lot of free radicals get released, which create inflammation. If you can reduce your inflammation, you're going to recover faster. You're going to be less sore. You're going to be able to go to the well and train better day after day after day with less likelihood of injury. Reason number five, you will tolerate more pain. This is a really interesting one. I'm just gonna read this to you because I didn't know this. Animal and human studies show us that both the threshold level of pain and maximal level of pain tolerance are lower after blood glucose goes up. That is the higher your blood sugar, the less able you are to handle pain. So in our case as triathletes, where we are under a low level of pain all the time, if we can increase what that is, all of our efforts are going to feel a little bit easier. Reason number six, you will experience fewer gut stomach issues when racing. If you don't have to put as much in, it's going to be easier for your stomach to digest the smaller amounts of carbs that you do put in on race day. So you're not going to be overloading your stomach with a task that is gonna be very hard for it because blood isn't in your stomach while we're racing. It's here and here. So that is going to be dissipated. And then there's a couple bonus life reasons. Your health will improve and possibly the best ever reason you will age slower. A lot of that has to do with the free radicals that I talked about and all around good things. 
So, Grant Schofield and Dan Plews, being the researchers that they are, very astutely said, you can't just go and say these things in books and on YouTube. So we need to actually test and verify so that we can share with you the actual results of what I'm going through. So today, we're gonna go to Body Measure here in Winnipeg, not an ad, and get my body fat tested. I carry a lot of body fat in my love handles and my bum, so I think anything under 15% is a total win. This is a low dose x-ray machine that takes um, an image of your body. It basically tells you uh, how much, what your bone density is, how much body fat you have, your internal visceral fat, uh, how much muscle you have, if you are symmetrical side to side, it gives you really detailed information about your, your body. You get three images with this, so one of your skeleton, one of your soft tissue, one of um, muscle and uh, body fat. Okay. So it's, uh, it's quite in depth. And then we basically, uh, basically to do this, it takes six minutes. You lie on this table, the scanner goes go, over uh, your body, uh, just goes uh, down like uh, a photocopy uh, machine. Uh, yeah. And, um, and yeah, then we, I analyze everything and then we sit down and go over it piece by piece. So who uses this? Like we were talking about it outside. Yeah, like, so... Is it just for sports or so beneficial for as far lots as, more? As far as, yeah, it's, it's basically for everyone. Uh, it gives you kind of a baseline of what your body is all about and then we can set goals. So maybe you have low muscle mass and you need to work more on building muscle. Maybe you uh, have low bone density and we need to get you doing, either seeing your doctor and going on medication if it's really low, or um, just weight bearing exercise to build bone density. Um, maybe you are really fit, go to the gym all the time, but your diet is poor and you've got a lot of visceral fat. So mm. then that puts you at high risk for coronary heart disease and type of diabetes and high blood pressure and numerous other things. So maybe we need to get you um, watching your diet, eating a little lower carbohydrate, lower sugar diet to get rid of that visceral fat. And then we can follow your progress and we've had clients already in the eight months that we've been here that have lost, you know, 60% of their visceral fat in three months. And they were fit, looked great on the outside, but they were carrying really? five pounds of visceral fat. Visceral fat being on, on the, the organs. Yeah, so behind your abdominal yeah. wall, wrapped around your organs and your intestines. And um, it's like a direct correlation between that and the types of diabetes and uh, coronary yeah. heart disease. So it's very, but you get a high risk for those things if you right. have over two pounds of visceral okay. fat. And we've seen people up to 10 pounds of visceral fat. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it just, it gives you some so, really good insight into right. your body. It's a good baseline. Yeah. It's yeah. a great baseline. And then yeah. it really shows you what you need to work on. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fantastic. Hey. Also me. I think I nailed it. So this is your humerus right here, the head of your humerus. Yeah. Um, so just basically just outside of that. And um, for your pelvis, just the top, top of the pelvis without t actually touching bone. Okay. And then um, for your legs, just basically going through the heads of your femur, which is right in here. Yeah. Um, for bone density, we would go through the neck of the femur, but for body composition, I want to see more of the leg, in the, in the leg actually, so mm. that's how we analyze that. Well, Trainiacs, we have some excellent numbers to share. Really just one that I want to brag about. So, thank you, Body Measure. Apparently my total mass, 157.5 three pounds. A little bit high because I've had a day of eating. Fat mass 22.6, lean mass 127.6 pounds, visceral adipose tissue, that's fat 
that's inside your body on the organs, very high likelihood of developing diabetes, getting complications from that. You want that under two pounds, I'm at a half a pound. Let's see some other things. This is fun. I was just bragging about this. My bone density off the charts, literally off the charts, a bone density of 1.3 is like the top of the charts, 2.6. Huh? You're gonna have Double. to go, you're gonna have to go brag to all your friends about who you work for. But let's get into body fat percentage, 14.4. As a dude who was always held a lot right here and on the bum, I think as lean as I have ever been back in the days when I was pretending to be a bodybuilder, somewhere around, I wanna say 13 and a half, 14.4. I'm pumped. So why do this? Like I say, we can't just go and make a whole bunch of videos and tell you to go to triathlonterran.com forward slash the plues and get started low carb training and go through this whole process without giving actual proof or results of what we're doing. Now, in addition to that, I would recommend that you go and check out the What the Fat book. Now there's two versions of the book. I will put a link in the description below to the one that you want. One is just for general people, other is for doing it as an athlete. That's the one that you want. That'll be an affiliate link, so if you go and purchase that book, it does help us out, doesn't cost you anything. And if you are in Winnipeg and you want to get this, go check out Body Measure. Very nice people. This is just all very new services for Winnipeg and one of the ladies who owns it has actually lost 85 pounds eating keto over the last couple of years. Mention my name, you'll get full price. It'll be great. <laughs> quiet, quiet on set. Jeez. That one got me. <laughs> that one got you. <laughs> All right, go check it out. Triathlonterran.com forward slash the plues, what the fat in the book, body measure. Thanks for having me ladies. Later.